to this week's The Bachelorette Chat. This is episode six. We're in Buenos Aires, Argentina. There was just so, something a little off about. Um, I think she went to the Bloomberg School of Speaking Como Spanish. Como estas? Estoy bien. Okay. What'd you think of tonight's episode? <laughs> We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Let's. I'm really good at that. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. <laughs> so yeah, they're in Argentina, well, and not the first date. There are three dates. The one on one. Mm hmm. He's the last one to get one on one time with her. He's also the last one who hasn't kissed her. She even tried to make out with that dog on the street. Hell, she was making out with the cameraman, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, all the guys are like, oh, man, you haven't kissed her yet? Like, what? Because the name of the date was Besame Muchachos. <gasps> Don't dump that. The one time we have a prop. Yeah, maybe you should chug that. Okay, so anyway, all the guys are like freaking wash women sitting around. They're sitting around like the Harvard sailing hey, team. Do you think she's gonna dump him? Do you uh, think do you there's think gonna be a lot of pressure with this kiss? This better be the best kiss that, that kid's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to be under that kind of pressure like that. It was I don't ridiculous. Think he's back. Like, you think he's coming back? Oh my god. They said no for the record. Or at least some of them said no. Alright, so after they did a little superficial shopping at the street vendors, mm -hmm. they cruised by Fuerza Brute. Oh. Uh, yeah. They learned how to get shot on a treadmill. And then fall off the treadmill. And then slide around in some freaking filthy ass water. That's cool. And then he finally kissed her because she like was like, now! Do I mean, it already! Could it get any sexier than being half naked, sliding around in filthy water? It had nice lights and stuff. And everyone, <laughs> you're like pressed up against. Remember when they went to this on like um, America's Next Top Model in New York City? And they were like pressed on the up. Glass. Yeah, their boobs were pressed up on there, and, and Tyra was like, now smile. Uh, smize. Oh. Alright, so anyway. Pressure's off because the kiss is done, whatever. Now it's time for dinner chat. pretending to have dinner. So, um, Wells, how did your last relationship end? It was very, tell me about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I like this. No, mm, I don't like that. <laughs> so he's talking about his last relationship, and they're just like... Sweating? Uh, he oh, was yeah. He really sweating hardcore. She was, too. It must have been really, really hot. <sighs> But he was like, yeah, we're just going through the motions. We realized we were just best friends, living together, blah, 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 blah. Well, she doesn't know if she likes that because Ooh. she's looking for that unicorn that's going to keep her satisfied forever. Yeah. And so you could see, see immediately when he said that, she was just like, oh, oh okay. Well, he didn't get the rose. Yeah. She needed an excuse to get rid of him. I'm thinking and that it was, was the threesome. It. No, no. Remember when they went to that sexy... Uh, that was his story, Sexy yeah. chat thing? He hung on for this long. How sad was it when she went back to the show after the date and, like, all of the dirty water came out of the It was ridiculous! Like, Everybody was like... <laughs> and, and she was just like... like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Let's move on to the she group She did a thing. lot of walking around in this one. Alone. Walking around on her legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the group date... They went shopping again. They had some mate. Freaking Remember? maestro's tea. Mozart of, in, in the, the jungle. jungle. Mozart of the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> then they went tango dancing, kind of. Um, they, they were doing like some street activities. They did a pickup soccer game. James Taylor was whining the entire time. I'm sorry, but he ruined the state for me. <laughs> he did. The whole time he was like, I'm not as hot as everybody else here. I don't feel like I deserve to be here. Like, I just walked into this and I'm just a fat ass. Oh my god. Get over it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your face. It's just when you whine. Shut up oh the whining. Oh my god. So then they set it up that he would win a kiss from her because they were trying to get, like, goals for yeah. a kiss. And the, the goalie just kind of, like, fell he backwards. Fell over. <laughs> he fell over when it was his turn. So the, he, got he was like, oh, all right, let me kiss you with my flesh-colored beard. Yeah. Well, later on that night, it was time for a little one-on-one -on -one action during this group date. And Lukey was freaking turning on that fire. 
Lukey and that bubble butt, that butt dough. <laughs> it was crazy. Things got pretty heated. That was, yeah, that was a meal and a half. All right. <laughs> so then James Taylor gets his one on one time, and now, he's like, "What do you do when you're desperate on this show? You, you don't call out somebody else. You don't talk yourself up. You tear someone else down. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't tear Jordan down. Yeah. But <laughs> but it's not cool. So he calls out Jordan. He's like, he's like, he's not here for the right, right reasons. reasons. He brings up this weird story though about them like playing cards, and there was like some disagreement about the rules. I. And he said that Jordan was, like, self-entitled or whatever. He was entitled. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't have, I don't flash a million dollar smile and blah, blah, blah. A million watt smile. And, and she was just like, I don't care. And then, he, <laughs> then he's like, can I kiss you awkwardly now? Oh, it was so awkward. Because he's just, like, crapping on Jordan. And then he's like, let's make out. Yeah, that was really not cool. So she drops him back off in the bullpen. In the holding pen. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, all right, Jordan, come with me. Come to the principal's office. So I was just talking to James, and he said that you were a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're talking about the whole entitled thing, and... Jordan's like, what does, what does that mean? mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What did he mean by that? Oh, so it was like kind of a tense conversation. <sighs> That's when this came in. Oh my god, because then Jordan went back to the holding pen and freaking James Taylor kept saying, How did it go? How'd your conversation go? How'd it go? And How Jordan did it go? was just like <laughs> It was super creepy and everyone was just like <laughs> Okay. He should have just went Psh. That's what I thought he was gonna do. Uh -huh. But he was just swirling that wine around. He was trying to, like, open the wine bouquet or whatever that is to make the smell well, come out. Jordan calls James pathetic. Ouch! And that's true. He should have. So Luke gets the rose. Yay, Lukey! Bubble butt! <laughs> All right, so it's time for the two-on-one date. This is the first time ever that they've had a two-on-one date twice. Twice. Is it really? Season. I feel like it's not, but okay. Uh, Chris sure. Harrison said it, and it will be. All right, I believe it. Maybe. So it's for Chase and Derek. I wasn't feeling this at no. all. Well, they went and they did this tango lesson for, for three. three. For three. Whoa! I saw too much. That tango instructor, that was a high cut on that <gasps> dance costume. Uh, not only was it a high cut, but she had the frontal wedgie going. Girl. Was that costume stretched out or what? I, I don't need to know. I don't need there. to know. But she was teaching them this tango routine, and I'm sorry, but it was like the saddest tango I've ever seen. I walk now. I walk to you. Yeah. I walk to you. I think it's pretty safe to say JoJo will not be on Dancing with the Stars. No. That was terrible. Yeah. So they have the one on one time. I don't know how I'm going to recover from that. <laughs> Derek is falling for her when we're friggin' sitting here. I friggin' <laughs> like you. I'm friggin' having a great time. This is friggin' awesome. Let's I look like friggin' now. Jim Halpert from The Office. It's Big great. Tuna. Friggin' awesome. All right, so they make out a little. Okay. So then Chase... It seemed like, by the way, it was gonna be Derek staying after that. Yeah. But then Chase goes over, and he feels like he is falling... Fastly. <laughs> Falling <laughs> quickly. Yeah. So he has to pull out the, yeah, I'm uh, starting to feel some things for you. She's like, are you? I don't know. I, uh... And he's just like, wait, what? Like, I don't understand. So how, then. How could you not feel this? Yeah. So then he pulls out basically the lyrics to The Reason by Hoobastank. Hoobastank. And the reason is you. <laughs> so now, after he pulls out the Hoobastank, they make out. And she's like, mmm, I like this. Yeah. So then it's time to hand out the rose. And freaking Chase gets the rose. I thought it was going to be Derek for sure. stole that from Derek. That's not cool. So then they got to go to the after party. Yeah. After she walked out Derek and put him away in a minivan. <laughs> she put her toys away. At least she put them away after she played. Yeah. 
So they had to dance on this tiny little um, rug while some lady sang, Don't cry for me, Argentina, Derek. They showed him crying in the car for the longest time. For like three verses. It was so sad. It was so sad. He was having a rough time. Derek, ABC done you wrong. <laughs> yeah, they did. That was a bad edit. If the talk soup was still on, you'd be on it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's cocktail party time. I'm still confused. She needs this time to make her decision. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So she gets through the whole cocktail party and the whole rose ceremony, and it comes down to James and Alex. The final rose. There's one spindly rose left. There's <laughs> nothing like a rose. <laughs> and she's like, I, I, can't I can't do it. I can't. Kick. So she runs away. Chris Harrison is like, oh, let me take that. So it looks like she's getting rid of both of them, but then he freaking shows up with a tiny tray with two roses on it. She just couldn't do it. You're both getting roses. She already got rid of two people in this episode. You're getting a rose, and you're getting a rose. Yeah. And you're getting another drink. I was waiting for one of them to be like, you bitch, because she, like, faked them out. Well, Alex kind of was in the preview Except for next week. this is a pity week. rose. Yeah. I have to agree with him. It was a pity rose. You don't got a shot in hell, boy. Oh. <laughs> Neither does Poor other Alex. ones. All right, so. <laughs> Chase. No. James. Okay. <laughs> All right, so then the little snippet <laughs> at the end was like, oh, well, uh, my James body Taylor was, was talking like about how much weight he lost yeah, for the show. My body's like 40% margarita pizza. Okay. He He's, didn't know how to spell it. and It's not margarita like the, <laughs> it's margarita <laughs> like the cheese. Can we get one more swirl? <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, time okay. to go. Let us know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love. Edit. Hey!